Um, is this starting? Oh my goodness, why is the metronome on? Okay, get off. Okay, um... Hi! Um, this has been a while. I think the last time I made a podcast was in the winter time, and it's like spring, almost summer. Hello, May. May, how do you do? Um, this feels really weird. I am notorious for, like, finishing things, or starting things, and not finishing them. Because my first episode, I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about so many things. I have so many things I'm on my mind. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, welcome to episode three of Wall Talk. I'm talking to a wall. And, um, so, let's see. I did actually film a third episode, and it did not. I somehow deleted all of the audio, so I have the video of it, but it's just not the same because audio quality is amazing with this snowball, I think is my my snowball mic, so pretty unfortunate that I lost that episode but let me just recap i don't really remember what it was about i want to say it was how i was gonna change (laughs) whoa change for a 20 year old uh i mean 20 someone in their 20s i'm 23 i'm in there amazing i'm gonna be 24 this year so um yeah, so last time I heard an episode, I was a bank teller, and ooh, I had free time, um, not that much. You know, I'd get home from work and I'd just be super bored, watch the news, get anxious from watching the news, exhausted by the pandemic, dealing with people all day, and uh, yeah, so... I, um, where are we gonna go next? Well, next I'll share with you I joined the Corps, not the Peace Corps, the Conservation Corps of Iowa and Minnesota. Um, super exciting. I love my job. It is like a one year term, basically, like, started in February and will end in December. I work like every other week, so I'll work eight days, and then I'm off for six, so I'm out of breath for some reason. I'm exhausted from talking (laughs) and thinking. Oh, So, yeah, I went from a job to, like, talking to people all day to I'm literally in the field. I've learned how to use a chainsaw. Uh Uh-huh. I have been on prescribed fire burns. In Arkansas, that was intense. You had to, in order to do your fire in a different state, I don't think Iowa is required to do the pack test, is what it's called, but I had to do it because I'm on a National Parks crew. So I work with the National Park Service. And um, you have to do three miles with 45 pounds on your back in under 45 minutes. In that was a lot of work. I did have to practice and I made it with two minutes to spare, but I realized why it was so important for you to be in tip top physical shape when I did my first prescribed burn and well man that was a long day. (laughs) You have to carry all of your equipment on your back. I had a drip torch so I was like dripping fire and uh like, no lunch break. You can't have a break because there's fire all around you, essentially. So, that was crazy. Um, and now, currently, since it's, like, spring to summertime, we're going to be doing a lot of backpack spring. So, I had to do the Iowa core test and pass my core and my forestry exam. Uh, failed the core the first time, passed the second time I did it. So, that was exciting. Uh, but, yeah, I had to get certified and everything and doing conservation stuff, working outside all the time, getting a good farmer's stand, you know, the whole nine yards. So 
that's just kind of a refresher of what I'm doing right now. Uh, lots of free time, like, I am making my podcast up and going again. So, that's nice and exciting. And, yeah, I guess I'm gonna share with you what the rat race is, because that's the title, right? Rat race? Have you heard of her? Is she very at the top of your mind? Um, what is the rat race, right? Uh, actually the term came to me when I was, like, very exhausted, uh, about what I need to do in life and worried that I'm not at the right step and everybody around me is getting married and buying houses and I'm not there yet and I'm like, what? (laughs) And my roommate's like, ah, yes, the good old rat race. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, the rush to get everything done all at once, basically. The rush for happiness. So I'm gonna be looking at my notes and I wrote down some things because I found in the past it's easier than just going off the top of my mind. Anyways, this sounds all over the place, but I'm getting back into the notes here. Okay. So what's the rat race? Well, often in your mid to early 20s, it is your worst nightmare, right? I restated before how you're like worried all the time and um, you're just finding yourself wanting what society calls you. You are, you're finding yourself wanting what society calls your perfect life, right? So society's like four years, get your degree. Okay, nice. Get your job, get your dream job. Okay, nice. Did you find your spouse yet? Cool. Okay. Um now did you get a dog? And a house and some kids? And did you get a bigger house? Did you get a new car? Cars plural. Did you go on lots of vacations? Are you planning your vacation? Are you retiring yet? Does that exhaust you? because it kind of exhausts me when you think of like life in a nutshell that's what you think about right my life with a family life blah 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 well let me tell you what it's definitely in our nature to want those things right and it's more so wanting what we don't have You are always going to want something you can't have, right? People on diets. I want ice cream, right? It's just kind of a generic thing. Uh, It's your grass is always greener type of deal, you know? So, oh man, you, it's, yeah, hurry up and grab the next hot item before you find yourself falling behind not where you're supposed to be okay well let me just stop there you're exactly where you're supposed to be cheesy yep no for real you're exactly where you're supposed to be you're not supposed to be somewhere else living this extravagant life because that extravagant life blah words that extravagant life is your life right now and you're like oh But I don't have all those things. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have whatever you got going on. Right now for me, it's freedom. And what I mean by freedom is I don't have to be... I'm I'm single. I'm a young single girl, right? And I don't have to be worrying about someone else liking me? Am I doing something right? Am I doing something wrong? Where am I supposed to be at? Oh my gosh. I have... mm, It's gone. I don't need to be worrying about those things right now. The only thing I need to worry about is me. (laughs) And it's kind of overwhelming because my whole life I've thought I've had to be worrying about someone else. And finally, it's just like, oh, Gab, you're finally doing what you were supposed to be doing. This kind of feels weird, right? It's like when I was studying for the core studying 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 oh am i gonna pass oh i failed study 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 oh i passed okay well now what 
my body's not used to not worrying about something. And I'm like, well, this is weird. And it's just that weird transition, and then you find new things to worry about, and it's fine. (laughs) But, yeah, the rat race is a constant moving target. And its mortal enemy is general contentment with where you're currently at. And I want you to think about that. It's general contentment with where you're at. Does that, do you, do you feel that energy right now? (laughs) Because it's, ah, the sun, ugh, you know, the sun's casting in my room right now and I'm just enjoying it and it's amazing and I don't have to worry about nighttime because, I don't know, it's right here and right now. Nighttime, sure, that's the next thing, but I'm enjoying this moment. It's something as small as that. And of course you're going to have times where you're like, man, the next thing already. Yeah, duh. It's just how we are as humans. And I'd be lying if I said I was never a victim of this race. I guess is kind of segueing to the next topic here. Um... I mean, even this time last year, I wanted a house so badly. I was, like, so close to becoming pre-approved for a house. Um, not this time last year, but, like, inching my way towards that. And so badly, I wanted that, and I was also picturing myself having a husband. And I had a great job, and I thought I was walking down working myself to get to that point but sometime in the middle of the fall last year the rat race rejected me and it wasn't my calling anymore I was super convinced that I was ready to have the rest of it but when life gives you lemons oh you know you make that sweet lemonade because As soon as that rat race rejected me, I was like, I am so lost. I don't know what to do. And that's where I found myself figuring out how to be content with the waiting period that I'm in. And who knows how long this waiting period is going to be. But for now, we're going to enjoy it, right? Um... Yeah, I'm ex- <laughs> I am was reading my next note here, and it says, So, I'm at the point of embracing my anti-rat race. Because it seems like my five-year class reunion's coming up, right? And I'm people have changed last names. I mean, my best friend has two kids, and I love her to death. And I'm actually going on their first family vacation together with her, her husband, and her two kids, which is awesome. Um, but I just don't have that, and it, I feel super normal with her about that. Like, I don't feel like I have to compete with her, and that's amazing. When you find people like that, keep them around for a while, because it's exhausting to try and keep up with everything else, you know what I mean? So, yeah, the difficulties still lay ahead of me, all around me, like I said, family and friends, you know, past classmates, the difficulties of trying to think that you have to keep up with them, um, when you clearly, you don't, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, basically, I guess, it comes down to what you want in life, and then it gets to what life gives you, and instead, embracing what life gives you instead of wanting that greener grass you know so just this is your reminder that it is really exhausting to keep on wanting things that you can't have and that life hasn't given you oh sorry before this paper turning asmr asmr yep that's that um 
I guess I also like uh, I have to admit I find myself like gawking at the lifestyle people have of the rat race because I'm I'm so anti rat rat anti oh my goodness I am so anti rat race right now right and that doesn't mean that I'm I think you're doing your life wrong don't take it as that it if anything my subconscious is jealous of you being at that stage but at the same time get this at the same time you running in the rat race could be jealous of me not participating in it it's like i've never ran a marathon before but i can imagine there's some people who run a marathon and they're like oh that just sounds so nice to be sitting and watching other people run this race. Like, oh, it's such a beautiful day. I wish I could enjoy it rather than running and, you know, exhausting myself. Some people do enjoy marathons. I'm going to say that. But on the contrary, the person sitting down is like, oh, I wish I could have their stamina and they look so amazing out there and they're doing amazing things and they're so much better than me. I th- do you see that energy is the same these two people are giving off the same energy and you don't hear the contentment with where they're at so I am happy for people who are finding themselves in this place but I'm also happy for where I'm at and I'm excited to see what else lays ahead of me while I'm in this state. Um, and it's also your surroundings kind of affect how you feel. And at first, when this rat race rejected me last year, I was like totally torn. Basically, I guess what I mean is like I experienced a breakup that I didn't want. But for some reason, it had to happen. It was mutual. Like, no one really knew what was going on. And we just happened to end it. Still kind of confused. But after that, I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to be in a relationship and blah, blah, blah. Like, that looks so fun. Oh, couples goals. Well, if you're surrounding yourself with that type of mentality, you are going to suffer, you know? So I've had, I can't even watch, you know, romance, romantic movies or desire to be around couples all the time because then I start to get that way, but it's, it's back to recognizing where you are. So you do have to have time for reflection every now and then. I mean, what I like to do is I like to journal, um, my feelings because, you know, you gotta know. Um, so I find solitude within myself and being alone and, uh, reconnecting myself with Christ as a single again, um, because I know this is a gift right now of where I'm at. I've said it many times and I'll say it again, um, but it's exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. And I don't need someone to be like, oh, you'll get there. I know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But you don't have to tell me. <laughs> um, and I've become more wise over the years. I'm 23. I know it's so young. But to me, it kind of feels old. Because I have ran this cycle before of singleness. And admittedly, it does get exhausting from time to time. But that's also what patience is ruled in for. So... Age comes with wisdom, and wisdom comes with patience, I guess, and I'm not sure how long this has been. I'm wondering if it is a short, oh, I should have been timing this, but basically, yeah. Those are my thoughts on the good old rat race. I'm exhausted. 
I'm learning to be content. Am at some points, other days I'm not. And it's just this pace of life. You'll get there. You'll meet new people. Heck, I'm excited. And yeah, I hope that this, you know, broadens your mind, makes you feel a little more comfortable about where you're at because you should feel that way. Um, I guess this is my first episode back into the world. I'm sorry I can never finish things. I feel so passionate about so many different things and it's hard to keep up with everything. You know, I cross-stitch. I don't know if you can see, but I did that. Not all by myself, but I did it. Um, like to rearrange a lot. Always finish things halfway. What the camera doesn't see is all the clothes, clean clothes on my bed that I just, I can't put away for some reason. Um, but yeah, I guess this is me procrastinating now. Trying to finish this episode. I'm sorry, it's been a while. Thank you. If you're listening, thank you for your support mentally. Um, if that is something that happens, um, yeah. And hopefully I'll see this episode or this uh, podcast again because I have my own art that Charlie Klongberg made and she did amazing and I told her what I wanted and I'm sorry I'm I'm rambling on again but thank you and I hope you folks have a great day bye